What up, Chipper Chaps? This is Chipper Chap Chat episode number. What the fuck episode is this? Five? Five. Hey man, we've been pretty consistent. We have been. It's yeah, been I think it's once great. a week. I know, so. and we had that bonus <laughs> one, so yeah, we've we were never this consistent no, on the last never, podcast. So never. so far, we're kicking yeah. our old asses ah, like out of the window. Yeah, <laughs> out of the window. Uh-huh. That's a thing now. So let's jump right in because one of these I think we're gonna end up talking about for a oh, while. Yeah, so let's, um, we forget let's get right who we in. are. Who's um, president so this of this is Fure, as always. Yes, this is Chamba here. And, and I'm Kanoi! <laughs> <laughs> and Kanoi's back as a guest. Yes, excellent. Uh, she probably won't have a whole lot to say about the first few things. Oh, but, but the last? Oh, she could, you know. Last, she'll... We'll have something to say about one-third of the first thing that's, I was talking about. That's enough. That's I enough. said not a whole lot because you don't watch Flash or Arrow. No, but I do watch S.H.I.E.L.D. But you do watch S.H.I.E.L.D. So Dude. let's talk about that first. Yeah. Uh, we're going to run down real quick uh, what's been going on in our comic book TV shows. There are at least three of the ones. Mm, so probably won't talk about... Spoiler? Do you want to spoil us some stuff? I mean... Uh, is it safe to spoil anything with this? Uh, you know, I imagine the people that are going to listen to this podcast... Have already watched it. Either watch it already mm. and we'll be fine, or probably aren't ever going to watch it, so they'll also be fine. Yeah, so it's like, you can just skip this so part. We'll just, alert. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert, yeah. For like the next, you know, know. 10 Couple, minutes or ten, so. <laughs> 10 or so minutes, just to be safe. Um, unfortunately, there's no like way we can... Uh, uh, you know what? We After we edit it together... We will uh we'll put a timestamp of when we stopped talking about the TV shows yeah. in, in the description. In of the, the description, podcast. you can basically like, yeah, ah, oh, that means I have to record. I have to take note of it. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> it won't be that hard. It shouldn't be a problem. That All shouldn't right. be a problem. Okay, so first up, we can talk about Shield. Shield. Ah. Um, this week's episode, um. In my opinion, on <laughs> was the best episode. Yeah. Oh my god! Like, is it me or is Shield just like they're doing Shield really, did. really well? Yeah. yeah. I think the introduction of superpowered villains is excellent. It has improved the show tenfold. Mm. Like you know, it's it's it was it was cool at because the problem with Shield to me when it first started was they had no villains. Yes. Then towards the uh, end of that season slash the beginning of the next season, they had Hydra, so it was real cool, you know, because mm. they've had a, a, dis- a distinct villain for a while. Then when you know they they dealt with Hydra and they dealt with that shit hard, Hydra, Bad. and because uh, Coulson went all Merc, yep. but then now the new threat is coming along with the introduction of the Inhumans, and it has been to me uh, the best the show's ever been. It's like elevating. I'm like this. I'm I'm getting excited about it, and it's like this is feeling like its own thing. Like it doesn't necessarily have like okay, it's part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that's great. Right. But I can just you can pretty much just watch this on its own at this point. And yeah. I I feel I feel like the acting has definitely like it feels like it's like improved, the, right? The acting has improved, but I think the characters themselves have improved. Like mm. I feel the like the characters are more interesting. Yeah, right? the yeah. characters are more interesting. I really I think, think so. that. Fitz, I always get them confused. Yeah. I always, always, always. Get Fitz confused. is the but dude. Fitz right? is the guy, yeah. Um, I and I, I really like because he fits in Simmons. Oh, oh right? snap! Right. <laughs> That's really ridiculous. Uh, That's a good one. I, uh, I really like him, and I like his character more now than I have before. I think. I think. Yeah, I, I do think too. Fitz was always, always cool. Fitz was always cool, but like now, there's something. There's like, I like there's more I to like play him. with at this point. I like the way he's handling this situation with Sky. I think that he's. I feel like everyone's being so negative and being so mean. And I mean, and Simmons in is particular, trying to say, Simmons. Yeah, but she's I think that's say, the she's... one character of the group of characters that they are fucking up right now. Simmons is Simmons is being really randomly fucking weird about everything. Right. I think the way that she jumped to that, like, we need to kill all the things with power. <laughs> he was like, whoa, whoa, whoa what? Nowhere. Mm-hmm. And uh, she did something too in the oh in the in the new episode where she's like, 
oh, he lied to me or he didn't tell me about Sky, so that's a complete betrayal of trust. Yeah, and, and I was like, yeah. what? We'll never be the same. But, you know, she vanished and was undercover with Hydra and didn't say anything well, to fucking now, fence. And now she's doing the thing for Coulson and she's not supposed to tell anybody. So well, she's not supposed to, but we don't right, know if she's going to. She'll that... be a pretty big fucking hypocrite if she doesn't. But that's, mm. what, that's what that means is like, okay, you are mad at Fitz for not for keeping a secret from her and, and, and but then, still though don't you feel like that came out of fucking nowhere like it, Simmons was never like that before it just seems like in the last few episodes they were like well we got all this other shit going on and Fitz is pretty much back to normal he stumbles a little bit with his words but he's pretty much back to normal now I think I mean I so think, Simmons has to be fucking doing something weird I just think that it was what I was talking to you about a while ago when you first started watching when the season started again where they're that they're just trying to make these sides where there are parts of sh- parts of the agents of shield that they have you know parts of their little group who are either against these inhumans or these other like enhanced people or mm-hmm. they're people who aren't against it so you can clearly see that you know uh, Fitz is okay with it. May is okay with it. Agent Coulson is, for the most part, okay with it. Uh, but then you see Simmons is totally against it, and so is what Ch- Mac. Mac. And then... I, I understand that that is what they are doing. Right. I just don't agree with the decision. It doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, Simmons in particular. With Simmons has in no particular, right? To... Because it's almost yeah, like out Simmons of nowhere. Yeah, Mac can kind of... be fucking pissed because we don't know anything about. That's Mac. right. With we Simmons, like we followed her. Him. For the whole, obviously, from the very beginning. So it's like, right. this it's seems out of character. Been... This She's seems most out of character. Absolutely. Before. She also had friends that, I mean, she thinks that Trip dying is just because of that. So, you know, she, like, she thinks that whatever it was that created this thing messed up Mac enough to almost want to kill them and then ended up killing Trip. So I think she's taking it personally. She thinks that these pe- these things that are mm-hmm. happening. Okay, right, okay. but it's one thing to be, like, it's it'd be the equivalent of, like, Oh, black dude killed my friend, so now I hate all black dudes. No, that's seriously... Actually, yeah, because she basically summed up all of them under one umbrella. she said it was a plague. Mm. It's a virus, and it needs to be eliminated, is what she said. She went full-on fucking Hitler in (laughs) But then, then, like, they brought up, it's like, uh... It's like, but she's your friend, you know? But uh, Sky's your friend. And she's like, yeah, but I wouldn't do that to the friend. It's like, how would we know that, though? How would uh, Fitz know that? Yeah, you know? I don't know. Fitz was basically protecting Sky as much as he can in that sense, where it's like, well, you said I, this thing, and, and then how am I supposed to be like, whoa, whoa, he knows that Sky is already one of the powered beings, so right. if she finds out, and she just said that, that she wants them all eliminated, does that mean her as well? I don't want to take yeah. that risk. Yeah. Right, and the fact that he, he said that to her, like, the way that you were talking, that's why I didn't say anything, and she still didn't understand right. it. Right. That's exactly. That, to me, is like, what? She's... She's brilliant. Yeah. yeah. How did she not get that, right? Right. How does yeah. she not slightly understand yeah. that? Point Where he's coming from, you know? Like, yeah, oh, yeah. Just, he didn't like... tell me because I said that. And if I found out then and there, I would have react. Would I have reacted, you know, towards my friend like that? He wasn't right. going to take that risk. Now, to me, that is like a writing problem. Mm. It seems to me like they decided that Simmons should be against it without being like it has to make sense that she's against it. And, you know, they tried to come up with reasons why it would make sense, but to me, they're just not enough. They're not strong enough reasons? What her character was, Mm, yeah. They're not strong enough. They contradict the character that they've been setting up for. Do you think they they can explain that somehow? They tried to, and to me, it didn't work as an explanation. I think they'll elaborate on it. I think think that that storyline... It's well, not over yet, clearly. Yeah, I definitely think that it's something's going to happen from it. I don't think it's just going to be like, oh, okay, now she's fine with it or something like that. Um, but I think they're going to elaborate on it. And I think that something's going to happen. I think that they're going to find, they're going to make those two sides that they created have to decide what they want to do. Whether it is defend Sky when she could possibly kill everyone. Well, ever, I mean, so ever. far, like, some of them are definitely defending it. I mean, like, Coulson's right. like, yeah, like, she's... She's one of us, like right, yeah. That shit. I think it's just gonna be a battle of. I just, I just don't think there's, there's not enough take. people on the bad side of it to make that, the, to make the, to use that to take up story time because, right now it's Mac. Mac had an issue with it. Bobby maybe did, but she didn't say much. And uh, and Simmons. Yeah. 
Yeah. Literally everybody else is like, we're gonna help Sky. I mean, but that's like you know, it's a classic storyline. But two line. of those people Mode. are new to the team, so to me, their opinion on Sky is that you know it doesn't matter because they don't know her. Mm. I don't think it doesn't matter. I, Bobby and Mac have only been on the team for a very short amount of time. They didn't have any of that first year or going through the stuff with Ward. Right. Who, again, they haven't shown yet. Yeah. I'm really curious what's going on with him. Right. Or oh, where he's at, even. Yeah, I know he's with he's with the bad, uh, evil twin version of May right now. The Scarface mm, May. Scar May. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but I'm assuming they'll tell us at some point. And then the way it ended, that episode ended with the whole... Uh, the, the real oh. shield or some shit like that, was okay. it? We're part of the real shield. Real shield. It's like what? What is going on? <laughs> what do you guys think about? What do you guys think about the villains that they showed? Because they showed four of them in total, other than her dad, other than Sky's dad. There you was the, the razor the hand lady. Up. Yeah, the razor, the razor hand, hand lady. Like, razor finger is stupid. Who doesn't like Hulk ba- out? Man. Baby Black Bolt was cool. Baby Baby Black Bolt was the coolest one. He's the one that screamed when oh, the birds died. Oh yeah. Or comatose. I'm sure they died by the time they hit the fucking ground. The yeah. birds? Yeah. Oh yeah, those birds are dead. <laughs> like uh, like those humans are probably comatose. But yeah. those birds are dead. Yeah. Oh, and the tech guy, that's the other guy. The, the tech, tech guy. guy. Yeah. Which, the tech you know, guy they didn't really elaborate much on. They yeah. said like guys getting tech and I'm like, what does that mean? Like But again, he didn't round up in humans. He just rounded up people from their gifted Exactly. Index. Yeah. Which could apparently fucking mean anything mm-hmm. because the girl with the razor fingers literally just had razors yeah. attached to her fingers. She didn't have any abilities. Yeah. And I don't understand why they gave her, like, probably very expensive technology to cover her hands. When they could right? just take the fucking razors off. They were literally. Like, is that not in. possible? Like, you saw the screws on each finger. Unscrew you know, it. And if it comes down Remove to it, man. the blade. Melt just take down. the top knuckle off of each one <laughs> of her fucking de-claw fingers. Her? Just declaw her like That's a fucking horrible. cat. Hey, it's better than letting her fucking take the gloves off right. and razor blade everybody yeah. just because she feels like it. Uh, yeah. Just it was that- just weird because I'm like, that's like Edward Scissorhand, but not even as cool. It right. looks so stupid. And it looked really stupid. It yeah. looked that's really like, Let me be gentle with you and stick my razor hands in your little face. Yeah, I'm like, no, covering. no, yeah, no like, thank no, you. No, you can go sit down. <laughs> my face is stuck to this metal. You're going to slice up my meat. I'll live with this. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they needed characters that they could basically it was have show up in yeah. one episode and Absolutely. get me. And look cool, like and right. look crazy. But yeah. you know, I think it was cool because it gave it gave them like a, a short lived Brotherhood of Evil mutants. That's kind right. Of That's what I felt as thing. well. I was like, that was neat. We yeah, got it that. Was cool, we got they that. haven't yeah. had that. No, not at all. And not an organized like what did you super think? Villains. What did you think about Coulson going ham on that dude on the tech guy where he kept bashing his face in with that suitcase. So they did only yeah, like twice. Him once. Well you didn't like twice. You hit him once with the suitcase. Well, I mean it was I feel like it was It was enough intense. to hit that little nerdy dude and he yeah. was done with. Yeah. I think he went a lot more ham on the dude with the black the black bolt powers. He hit that dude right. in the throat with a gun. Dude, but yeah. no, like what do you like the having uh May's ex back, I thought that banter, like that that him being reintroduced there and you seeing that Yep. I think that was really fun. Especially Fitz's reaction, like, she was laughing. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, like, he teased her, and she laughed and smiled. Yeah, so, and he just kind of, like, walked in and yeah, walked away. Like, because he was like, <laughs> I've so, never seen so that. They're so weirded out by yeah. her emoting ever. Yeah, that's why, that, that's why. That was pretty funny watching that whole little scene. Um, but yeah, I, I thought that was fine. I think that, uh, I'm I don't know, her, her, her fighting steroid dude was weird. It was weird because... He, it was like his his super strength just was gone. Disappeared. Yeah. Disappeared. He he opened that gate like it was cardboard. Yeah, he just, he just fucking mashed that in whole gate open. But the... then he should have shattered her forearms. Oh, with easily. Punch. She was blocking her easily. arms. Easily. Broken half. In the very same exact like line of thought. Mm. The whole fight with Razor Hands and Bobby was really sad to me because I was like, Bobby just took down that big giant dude in the right, right. Island, and she mm. can't fight this stupid yeah, little this tiny chick. Not trained at all. That's exactly <laughs> my thought. I'm like, unless she was a trained, like they said no. that what she put those blades on because she was being abused. Okay, that's not cool at all. But Bobby is a trained, yeah, fighter. Yeah, you know? she's, she's no competition. Yeah. 
yeah. fighter, and yeah. now she's suddenly like it, it takes her a she while to take down this little like, girl. That's yeah. exactly. It was it was weird. With three moves, yeah. there's, there's a little, there's like there's quite a few you know uh, inconsistencies with mm -hmm. with the things that we're mm -hmm. seeing. But you know, but I, I think we it's just to, because they had to. Do it. They had to yeah. Oh yeah, they of course. Fit all those characters in one go, and they didn't want to use the Inhumans because they're still you know they're still weeding that out. Mm. But by the end of that, where they took you know they took Hyde to the inhuman lair or whatever. Mm. I totally thought I knew, even though I knew she was dead, I totally thought his wife was going to come back. Yeah, I was I was like it it's in the same room, it's the same kid. I thought as soon as he was going to be like it's not up to me. And yeah. then he the yeah. Door, that's going to walk in yeah. and he was going to be like whoa whoa whoa. Yeah, he's like you were torn apart. Yeah. yeah. Uh but you know Show's it's good. Comic yeah, it's I, comic books, so yeah, really anything right, can happen. Yeah. I'm liking the show. Otherwise, you know. Yeah, I think uh, they. I think they're doing a really good job. Mm -hmm. How many more episodes do they have? Uh, they've got a few. Like four got or a five. Few. It's only the second half of the season, so yeah, probably like four or five mm -hmm. left. Yeah, it's pretty Should cool. Be good. Be good. Um, but yeah, the real shield thing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it ends with that. We're from the. We're from the real shield that comes that rose from the ashes of what Fury started. Which is interesting to me. I'm really curious what that's going to be about. Or whether it would, like, like uh, cross into the Avengers film. Well, you had a good point, hmm. Royce. You said earlier where you thought it was interesting because I mean, it kind of tags along to the Avengers thing we're going to talk about later. Right, right. But how Nick Fury was back in his S.H.I.E.L.D. gear in Avengers when S.H.I.E.L.D. is Yeah, and Age gone. of Ultron, he's back in his, yeah. like, trench coat that's and, true. like, S.H.I.E.L.D. getup. He's so not with his street clothes I, and, and rusty yeah. eye patch. And he's part of this uh, real S.H.I.E.L.D. group or whatever. But I, I had been saying for as long as when we first found out about Bobby and them doing their own thing, yeah. when we were like, what is it? I was like, if they could be working for Nick Fury to keep tabs on Coulson. Mm. Now it doesn't look like that's what's happening as far as the keeping tabs on Coulson thing, but I still wouldn't be surprised if if Nick Fury has something, something to, do to do with it. With it. Um, well, but I know then, I know Edward to... James almost is supposed to be in it in the show. In it, yeah, he's supposed to be coming up. He's an actor. He's supposed to be coming up soon, and supposedly has something to do with that original Shield or whatever the the real Shield. Mm. I, I don't know I if he's the one tell... running it, but that would, you know, he looks like an authority figure. I he does. Imagine. Like, he was, what, in uh, the reboot of Battlestar Galactica, so he's pretty popular with the whole geek crowd. Okay. and yeah. I was trying to see if when they had, because they kept talking about bringing in somebody to take Hunter out, right? Is that his name? Sorry. Yeah, his name is Hunter. Yeah. Not to take him out. No, not take him out, but, like, bring him away. Like, not necessarily take Sorry. him out. Take him out. Um, but I was trying to see it, what they like if they had any like logos on them or something like are they are they Hydra? Do they have the thing on them? Are they shields? I knew they were the gonna be Hydra. They just looked like generic spot dudes. It was very frustrating. <laughs> I mean, but hell, we don't know. Maybe the real shield to them is Hydra, mm -hmm. but they said they weren't Hydra early. Yeah, that's true. They did. Um, what if it was all a dream? <laughs> Wow, I would be really disappointed if that was <laughs> That would be a very not, not good still, I'm writing, curious right? how he's going to be involved and how Lucy Lawless is going to be involved if she is, because I know she's supposed to be coming back in some capacity. Well, you don't think flashbacks? I mean, it very well could be flashbacks. Mm -hmm. They could maybe show backstory on, like, Hunter's storyline with yeah. her, maybe. But, you know, they never, they never showed a body. They just... Buried a casket. <laughs> she can be without an arm. Yeah, she can be without <laughs> arm was, or have like a robot arm and shit. Mm -hmm. This is a shield. You can do whatever. Um, but yeah, so show's been going great. I can't wait to see what the hell's gonna happen next time. And really quickly, all the stuff that they've been doing going up to the finale is gonna be nuts. Yes. Jeff, what's up? What's your favorite part of Shield? Yeah, from the last episode of Shield. Uh, I think. The whole, like, field, like, when they were in the actual football field. Right. That scene? Yeah, I think it looked great. Like, visually, yeah. it's, it's, they're, they're not, like, I know their budget's obviously not a lot, but they're showing enough to get the message across of their yeah. abilities and stuff, and I think that looked really good. Yeah, that right. baby black bolt. Yeah, that was a great effect. Uh, was it was cheesy. Yeah, so it was disturbing was to look so at. Gross. But, like, even teleporting guy, his effect is cool. I like, liked it, it like, it looks like wings. Back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looks like <laughs> wings. That's why I was like, what? Like, it was coming from his shoulder blades, and I'm like, that's cool. That's a cool looking effect. 
Which I also thought was funny just because he had made the comment right before that about Sky saying, Yeah, I've always was was wings. 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 I was hoping it was wings. Yeah. He's such a weirdo. He is a weirdo. He is also, such a weirdo. The, another thing I did like, though, is uh, when Sky is trying to control her powers and her arms get Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Because it's internal, and I'm like, that's fucking rad. But the the thing that Simmons gave her the the arm braces, mm-hmm. and she's like, these will help, you know, deflect some of the shock or whatever. Yeah. Her character in the comics has gauntlets as part of her outfit. Oh, really? So I think these are going to be the beginning Versions stages of her, of her superhero look. Oh shit! So I'm excited to see how those are going to evolve over time, and it shows, and it shows that that uh, they what from what they've established is that her powers are coming from her arms mm-hmm. and that's the necessity to have those gauntlets there because they said it was from her mm. from her basically from her elbow to her fingers yep. mm-hmm. so really excited to see how those are going to evolve over time and how yeah. close they might get to the look mm. oh it's cool stuff my favorite part was the black that was your thing. favorite part how about yours can i I think my favorite part, I'm going to stick with what I said earlier, but was the was I was the whole scene of bringing May's ex back. I liked him as like the psychiatrist to help Sky. I liked the banter. I liked the way Scott, you know, Sky's way of deflecting was just kind of trying to get more information on May. I kind of thought that I thought that whole relationship, that whole like between May and her ex and Sky, I thought that was really, really cool. And I thought that was really fun to watch. Do you guys have pillow talk or you just kind of <laughs> yeah. stare at it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that was I weird. That was really funny. Yeah, <clears throat> and the idea that, you know, he is, listens for a living and she doesn't talk. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that pretty much covered it. Yeah. For, uh, yeah. Next show was what? Uh, yeah. uh, let's well, talk about Arrow next. Okay. What do you think of Arrow? Uh, I thought it was fine. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad. But again, man, I just think of the three of those shows. Yeah, it's... it's Arrow, the, for me, mm-hmm, is it's the, the weakest. weakest right now. It is. It, and I still like the show. It's I like it, yeah. It's not, that's not it's a bad show. It's just thing. that with Flash, oh. it's exciting because you're getting that, that superhero feel out of it. Yeah. And with Arrow right now, I just feel like the show is trying so hard to, to be, be Batman. Batman. Yeah. And it's that's again that's not really a bad it's not terrible because Oliver Queen is somewhat of a Batman himself. Fully, but they've but they've yeah, really they, yeah I know they've really made they've him Batman made him with, into the whole, Batman with the so whole with, yeah with the whole racial and uh, he's got a Robin mm-hmm. his Robin is Roy he has got Oracle and Felicity Jones his Alfred is Diggle his Catwoman is fucking Canary they've uh, set it up so he is this is like Batman Year One. But just every every part of the bat part is green and has arrows. <laughs> I just it's still if they give him a fucking uh... arrow signal next season, I'm I'm gonna be really upset. Would you? You would? It's not not enough to drop it. I don't know. It depends on how shitty that arrow signal is. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to how this is gonna evolve. I definitely thought he would. I thought he was gonna take that the the job position of. Uh, of Ra's al Ghul's successor, um, and then just turn it around. I mean, Ra's literally said, hey, man. It's yours. If you're, if yeah. you're the guy, you do whatever you want. Exactly. You can make them stop killing people. Mm-hmm. I don't give a shit. It's like, essentially, and, I'm giving you tools to do yeah. what you want to do. I'm giving you But you're essentially just going to become the new Ra's al Ghul. So. Yeah, it just seems silly to me that he wouldn't be like, yeah, maybe I'll make this a global thing. I can have a whole team of people that are almost as good as I am. Mm-hmm. To, to run this shit, I can have green arrows everywhere. I can have a bunch of arrows. The yeah, arrow and, clan. And I think that would have would have been cool. I was kind of hoping for that. Uh, but now it seems like, you know, that he gave him an offer that he wasn't supposed to refuse. So now he's going he's gonna to fuck with his... Sully's his, name so, up? His, yeah. His, yeah, he's going to fuck with his rep in the streets. So that he'll he'll go, yeah, they're all are turning on me. I can't believe it. <laughs> Just like you said. Mm-hmm. And, how uh, did he predict this? Yeah, how did he know? Uh, but, you know, we'll we'll see what happens with that. Again, they got a crossover episode coming up with Flash. I'll do that. Another one? Yeah, I think episode 18 or whatever. Somewhere towards the end of the season, okay. they're doing another crossover. Cool. I enjoy those crossover episodes. But Flash is just... Yeah, that's all I can think of with with Arrow, 
in terms yeah. of this week. Again, it wasn't a bad episode. It was actually a good episode. But it's because those other two... Sh- yeah, there's not a lot to, to chomp into. So, Other than, I guess, they, they revealed that the Lazarus pits are real. Yeah, which was pretty rad. I mean, it was basic as it's like, oh, I got a cut on my hand. Heal it. Yeah, it's cool that they revealed that, but, you know... I'm I'm curious who's going to be the one that's stuck in there by the end of the season because somebody's got to have to use it. Yeah. And if it isn't Roz himself, like maybe, you know, maybe Oliver defeats him and then throws him to the pit or and somebody like, throws him to the pit. Maybe. But I have a feeling that if they're sticking with the Batman shit, that it will be Roy. Uh, like Roz al Ghul will use Roy as, you oh, know, so a he's going to be straight up Robin, eh? Yeah, so they're, he'll, like, kill him or whatever, and then oh, they'll shit. have to bring him to the pit, because now Oliver knows that the pit exists, yeah. and he'll bring Roy there to heal him. Uh, but, you know, who knows? Maybe they'll do it to Felicity, make her fucking bonkers. Let's um, see. We'll find out. They haven't given her a, a bonkers uh, turn yet. They did it with Roy with the Mirakuru or whatever, yeah. so maybe they'll do it to someone else. Maybe they'll do a Diggle, shit. Um... But yeah, so that was that episode. Yep. But on to the... And, and and this is saying a lot because S.H.I.E.L.D. this week was crazy. S.H.I.E.L.D. this week but was man, great, but Flash, but Flash was this week wow. Was, yeah, Flash was nuts, Fucking man. Fucking A, dude. This one feels like I'm watching comic books. Yeah, this one I almost don't really want to spoil it. I don't... Yeah, but it's... Because we it's we so don't have to spoil good. anything, but we can just say... Just fucking watch it. There's so many yeah, things that happen in it. it. The effects this week were crazy. Is it they me had, or like, out, out of all those three shows, this one has the best effects? Um, I don't know, man. Shield's effects are pretty good. Shield's effects are great. Like this week's for Shield Flash, effects is good. The, it's the scale because they I haven't really done why. anything of that scale on mm. on Shield yet. Because Flash had a city destroying tidal wave. That's true. That that was in their effects budget somehow for this week, and it looked crazy. It looked and, good. It looked good. Yeah, and uh, they're starting to get into some some time travel scenarios. Oh, that, that to me, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're doing it. Yeah, man. I this think, is fucking you know, rad. They're doing it. They're gonna do, do Flashpoint, man. I don't know how uh, they could avoid it. Nah, that, that's that's a major thing. That's a yeah. major thing. And that is super exciting. But yeah, that shit. It's it's excellent. This shows. If you if you and if you haven't seen it, man, watch it for what goes down with Cisco alone. Oh yeah, I won't say more than that, oh. <laughs> but you gotta watch it for what goes down with Cisco because it is fucking crazy. Mm. Um, it's good, man. But yeah, that show it's is good. Excellent. Yeah, this episode was just it was top notch this week. Check it out. Um, check it out. Couldn't couldn't recommend it more. And then uh, pretty briefly, oh. we talked. The uh, Avengers, the Avengers TV spot number two. I'm I'm gonna say, I was already really really excited about the movie. Mm-hmm. The first trailer had me pretty excited, but this one has me like super excited. Yeah. <laughs> this one did. Like, this one was good because oh, yeah. it was like, no, this movie's gonna have action yeah. and it's gonna have the Avengers banter. It's gonna have all the stuff that you love from the first one. Right. We're gonna do that. We're gonna give them team up moves. Uh, yeah. Just like the first movie, and and Thor smacking the shit out of that shield and going through dudes, so sick, mm. so sick, mm-hmm. and uh, just all the all the like character moments. Each character got a moment, except for <laughs> except for Hawkeye. They they tried to. He jumped backwards and shot an arrow like he did in the first movie, and then immediately, even in his part, he just immediately starts talking to Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. Yeah, they're like, "Okay, we get it. You shoot arrows. Here's the other guys." <laughs> that's that's what you do. That's that's what people know you do. That's cool. Right. Sorry, but that's that's all. And then you know, I've heard some people talking shit because they, you know, this was the first time we've heard Quicksilver speak. Mm-hmm. Uh, about his accent, and I thought it was fine. I thought it was good. Yeah, I I'm like, it, it does the job. Yeah, like, it's a Russian accent. I don't know if he's Russian or not, but he's gonna be some sort of. I know people like that sounded like a bad accent. I'm like, what do you want it to sound like? His regular self, right? He's yeah, supposed to play a character, whether it's bad or not. It's that's how it is, unfortunately. Like, deal with it at this point. Yeah, and everybody's I, like, well, there's no way he'll be better than the Days of Future Past Quicksilver. And I was like, do you remember before both of the movies came right? out, 
Everyone Everybody was fucking like, yeah, hated Avengers that shit. Is gonna shit on the one Everyone movies. hated he that shit. Stupid. His fucking costume and his silver coat and his goggles. He had one good scene, and now everybody fucking flipped their. But you script. know what though? That one scene. If you, it's like okay, it was a great scene. Don't get me wrong, it was a fantastic scene. But I wouldn't say that's the best. That's the best. You know, uh, Quicksilver we'll, we'll ever see. We right. barely saw him. Right. Yeah, we I barely trust, saw him. I trust that they've seen that fucking movie by like, now. Yeah. They were very aware Absolutely. of what had been done. Absolutely. And they were like, he's got to be his own character. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Give him the fucking accent. Mm-hmm. Let him have his moment. They, you know, they are, uh, Whedon has already said specifically, like, Quicksilver gave them an opportunity to show a perspective that they haven't before. As far as, you know, like, when he's moving and how he sees the world and stuff. So... I'm excited to see what they do with that character. I'm not writing him off like he's definitely. No, awesome. no, I, I, just, I'm, not, I'm not writing any of the characters off. I like off. Aaron Taylor Johnson yeah. better. That's right. Than the other nigga from Kick Ass that That's was right. quite yeah. silver. Which is weird. Like they're both in Kick Ass. Yeah. Right, and and it's funny because they were opposite characters by the second movie. Mm-hmm. Even though was it was a different actor, the other one was ass kick. Yeah. So, um. Excited to see, excited to see it, man. And I'm still not writing it off. I think they look no, awesome. They I'm still not writing anybody off at this point. They still haven't had any no audio vision. of of Scarlet yeah. Witch talking. So I don't know if she also has the accent, but they're supposed to be twins. We'll see. Maybe, maybe she does. So I feel like it'd be weird if he does and she does. Um, would you want to see another TV spot, or do you think at this point, listen, I'm good. Just put the. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the film to be out at this point. Let's put it this way, man. If it's would, out, you're gonna watch I would, it. I would love to avoid it. Yeah, I would I know, love yeah. to. Because as soon as I found out there was a new, I'm like, I know Roy said last time that he's gonna try and not check it out anymore, but I know he's probably seen this already. I would love to not. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't matter that way. The, but the pressure, just in of my own mind, to know what the fuck is going on, so that I'm not the only one, not part of the conversation. Nigga, I I don't understand. Like, there's no way for me to to say it, but when new stuff comes out for these superhero movies, mm. I'm on top of it. Yeah, no, we have to be. We have to be. But on top of it to a level I don't have to be. Oh, but okay. I- um, see, yours is probably to the point where it's crazy. You guys have known for for a yeah. long time. I'm all about all the movie news and all that stuff that comes yeah, out. Uh... I hear about it first, and I'm trying to talk to everybody about it. Yeah. So, I, you know, when all that stuff comes out, I'm immediately got to check it out. Any like all the motion posters for Daredevil, all that stuff, I'm immediately. Dude, on. <sighs> Daredevil. I'm so <laughs> yeah. excited by this, man! I actually saw the full trailer. Oh, the oh, you didn't hadn't seen that. One I before? hadn't. I thought I had, but I had. I was like, I watched it. I'm like, fuck! I'm excited. That shit's gonna be. Excellent. I love that they acknowledged Iron Man and Thor in it. Mm. Cause that's because that's my thing. I'm like, how does it fit? And I'm like, it's just because it feels dirtier. Right. Because this is definitely Marvel Knights. Yeah. Oh, Daredevil. Because, you know, and it's fitting because Daredevil was one of the launch titles for Marvel Knights. Yeah. So, you know, I get it. He's a street-level character. His story's going to be darker and grittier. He's not like Spider-Man is for this group. Nope. You know, he's not the fun lovey type of character. But, you know, I have a feeling he'll have some of those moments, too. Oh, he will, because, because like, show. especially if you know the actor and stuff, he's he holds that presence, in a sense. Yeah, so. dude. Oh, I didn't realize until way after the fact that he was the same dude in theory of everything yeah dude. the whole time i was watching the movie i was like this motherfucker looks hella familiar oh by the way i watched but that I have, but i have no idea yeah, i know Fucking but i was like i have no idea what he looks familiar yeah, from because that's dead but i'm not dude. gonna look it up right now because i'm watching it mm-hmm. i don't want to stop the movie but uh yeah and then afterwards you know what actually did it is i started to watch uh Stardust. I love Stardust, dude. It's like one of my favorite I've, films. I've never seen it, and I still haven't watched it yet, so we won't talk about it yet. I started it, though, last night, and I was like, I'll wait till tomorrow, and I'll watch the whole thing. Yeah, yeah I fucking love that movie, dude. Uh, but I started to watch it, and he showed up again, and I was like, it's that same dude from Fear of Everything. He's popping up everywhere, was, man. It's to prepare you for, for Daredevil. Yeah, but I was like, he looks really familiar, though, man. And then it was just in that movie that I more recognized him as... Matt Murdock. I was like, oh, he just he looks the same. He did. They lightened his hair and gave him stubble for Daredevil. Mm-hmm. But he has very very dark hair in the yep. other two movies. So I think that's what was throwing me off. 
But uh, but then it was because he immediately, <laughs> you know, what was the weird part is I didn't recognize him even in Stardust until randomly Henry Cavill shows up with blonde hair. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Henry Cavill's in this movie? It's funny. I was like, Motherfucking Superman. Yep. Oh, shit. Superman just knocked down Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this movie has Superman and Daredevil in it. That is super weird. Um, also. But yeah, so uh, crazy that that show's going to be nuts, man. And oh, yeah, so the fact that they acknowledge Iron Man and Thor, it makes me excited because for a while people were speculating that the show was going to be uh, not part of it. It was going to be set beforehand. Mm. Oh, but like, it's clearly it was yeah. like seventies or it's something. It's clearly not. No, it's definitely not. But for a minute, I was I was scared. I was like, I really didn't want it to be. Mm. I wanted the possibility for you know when they do movies like Civil War or like Infinity Gauntlet, yeah. the Daredevil can show up for those. Or if not even Daredevil, like Matt Murdock, they even mention they drop his yeah. name because even just the name drop to me is like, all right, that means they've acknowledged that they are aware of this. Right, and and it will be more important to me once they've got more characters like Iron Fist and Luke Cage that show up. Yes. I want them to be included in these bigger, bigger things that happen. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that show looks like it's going to be crazy. Avengers looks like it's going to be crazy. Uh, Joss Whedon also said that there are more people from the cinematic universe that will show up in Age of Ultron that they haven't shown anything of. What? Yeah, he said there's more p characters from the universe that they haven't talked about being in the movie that, that will never that has that has never appeared yet in any of the films yet. She didn't say, oh, but shit. It, it's Spider Man. Sounded... <laughs> I I doubt it just because uh, Civil I, I think Civil War he's probably gonna be. But I that. would not be surprised. Okay, now this is what I think could happen. This is pure speculation. Oh, now. Well, you know that's good. Speculation talks great. But. What I think that could happen is, at most, if we see anything of Spider-Man in in Avengers, it'll be like his costume. We won't see the actual person. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Like, don't show the, don't need to show the actor. Just show that actually Spider-Man, not Peter Parker. Right. But since Civil War is not so much about identities as it is about uh, who you know who those superheroes answer to and who they're you know who makes them accountable mm -hmm. i was like one way that they could do a really rad thing is you know the the moment that everybody remembers from civil war is spider-man showing up at that press conference and pulling off his mask and saying i'm peter parker i've been spider-man since i was 16 yeah <sighs> now what if Rather than do it in the movie because the movie is not about secret identities, they actually do a press conference and have the, the whoever they cast show up in the suit mm. and pull off his mask just like in Civil War to announce who's playing him. And they do it at one of those events like they did when they announced the, the Phase 3 slate. Fuck, that would be tits. <laughs> The symbolism behind that would be I really know, it'd be like, yep. I would, like, I'm getting chills yeah. just thinking about that shit. Like, to actually not do it in a film, but do it at a press yeah. conference. Yeah. do it yeah. at a real press conference uh, and do fuck. it just like the scene, make it look like it, make yeah. the background look Where like people it. people like, hey, this is Spider-Man, you know, cosplayer here. It's like, no, this is... I'll yeah, just have him, have him show up with Downey Jr., because in, in the comics... Yeah. Tony Stark was standing yeah. right next to him when it happened. Yeah. Have him show up and him and Tony Stark talk first and be like, I'm bringing out somebody that wants to meet you guys. The crowd would go fucking Oh my crazy. God. I promise you, the crowd would I, go. I'm feeling it right now and I'm not insane. even going to be. <laughs> they could do this at, oh no, that'd be crazy if they did it. Like at, at that D20. Well, so far, now again. At the D23 event? So far, they're not going to be at San Diego. D23 though. When is D23? Uh, it's October. What is D23? It's a Disney's Disney. uh, convention type thing. But I don't think that they'll wait that long, yeah, honestly. It's, yeah. When would they because, do it, though? Because Civil War starts filming in a couple weeks. they got to do it before then. Maybe yeah. maybe during a red carpet or some shit? Again, though, man, I think... That's it fucking ballsy just, as shit. It could be just, you know, when they did the Phase 3 thing, it was a random Tuesday, and they just said... They called everybody the day before or some shit, and we're like, show up, we're doing a thing, show up if you want to know some cool stuff, we're not going to tell you what it is. Yeah. And then when they showed up, they it's like, wow, I'm glad I went. Yeah. Same, they could do the exact same thing, and they wouldn't even have to do anything but have Spider-Man show up. Mm, that would be... 
I tell you, man, the internet would go wild. Now, the other thing is, Dylan O'Brien, man. You don't want him, do you? As much as I don't want him, it definitely seems like... He is the likely candidate. It definitely seems like, at very least, they've been talking to him. Yes. Because he's he's done a couple things where he's like been like, I really want to do it, yada, yada. And he's talked about it in press events and stuff before. And then now, suddenly... You can't say shit. They tell him that he's not supposed to talk about it, and rep- reporters that show up are not allowed to ask him about anything to do with Spider-Man. Mm. Now, one of the pro- one of, I think not. One of the producers <laughs> of Teen Wolf, one of the producers at Teen Wolf at I think like Paley Fest or something, yeah, said something like, uh, he they said something along the lines of, uh, wouldn't that be cool if if one of our guys showed up in like the Avengers or something like that. Just now, that to you. now he could have easily just been Jerked around fucked people because of the speculation mm-hmm. and everybody talking about it. But he also could have been a little bit in the know and brought it up. And plus all this stuff about them saying since since that producer said that, now they've suddenly not allowed to talk about it at all. Now part of that could be he's cast already. Mm. And they're trying to keep it a secret until they reveal it big. But part of it could be maybe they're in talks with him and they don't want him to fuck it up. So they're like, don't say anything about it because it's not a sure thing yet. Yeah, because we'll never, like, at this point, nothing's guaranteed. And as much as I would prefer Logan Lerman visually to this guy, plus I like the idea of them casting someone younger because they were talking about it. And Mm. this guy's, I mean, he's older. Don't. Ryan, he's older, man. He he's got to be in his twenties. He doesn't look like a seventeen-year-old kid to me. No. But uh, but you know, either way, I'm I'm excited to see how they're going to reveal it, and if they do it anywhere close to what I'm speculating that they do it, it will be a, a full-on nerdgasm moment for me. That press conference thing would be like such a ballsy move. It would be, but man. The, them announcing Phase Three the way they did was almost just as balls. Yeah, I think. And I think if they had if they had locked down that deal by then, they would. They would have. Yeah, they would have done it then. They would have done. They, they would have. Uh, Black Panther and nobody dude, knew. Who the they they, they would have uh, done um, fucking Doctor Strange then as well. Yep, they definitely would have done that. They did. They they were definitely in yeah. negotiations when that mm-hmm. happened. Yep. Fucking nurse normal. <laughs> Good catch, still. Yep. Um, and it was odd to me that no one else was talking about that. Yeah, you but, kept going, "What the fuck? Like, what is yeah, that?" Was so, like, yeah, because you're like, "That is so random." Like, that's what we're talking about. But so, just to catch her up, and for people who also may have not have heard, at one point, uh, I think it might have been a Sherlock panel, or maybe uh, for the Hobbit or something, some movie that he that Cumberbatch was going to be mm-hmm. in. They were doing a panel, and someone in the Q&A part, asked him if he could play any superhero, who would he play? And he was like, uh, I don't know, uh, maybe Nurse Normal. And no one kind of reacted to it, because no, everybody's like, who the fuck is Nurse Normal? What does that even mean? But instantly oh, I'm like... Oh, I got it. But instantly I'm like, Nurse Normal? Like, of course he means Doctor Strange. <laughs> and the only reason he would say it in a cryptic way like that mm-hmm. is they've got to be talking to him mm-hmm. already. Uh, but yeah, so I wouldn't be surprised if maybe there's a little bit of that and they're talking to Dylan O'Brien already and that's why they can't say anything. But I am still have a little bit of hope that maybe it's not him and I have a little bit of hope and I have a whole, whole lot of hope that if it is him, that he fucking blows my mind with how good he does it. Yeah. Because if he, if he plays it well, then I won't give a shit what that's he looks true. like. That's true. I think that's the thing. Like, if his performance outshines your current doubt of his appearance... Right. Then, like, if he's got the character down to the point where it's like, I haven't seen a better Peter Parker slash Spider Man than this guy. Right, then, and it, you know, if it's Marvel doing it, so I then, know then he will become. Try- he will literally become. Yeah, this is the Spider Man that I was after. It's just tough for me because Andrew, man, he looked like Spider Man looks to me. So he looked like a version of him, definitely. Yeah, he looks like Ramos' version, mm-hmm. which is one of my favorite mm-hmm. versions of Spider Man. So I was excited for that idea so let's i'm hoping new version's gonna be sick 
I'm really excited to see what the costume is going to look like. I don't know how we ended up on a tangent about Spider-Man. <laughs> it doesn't matter, though, because that's what happened. Okay, so quickly also, or, well, you know, quickly, maybe not quickly, let's see. We should talk about a question that was actually sent in to us. The email is from Michael Temple. And, Michael uh, Temple. Michael Shout Temple. Shout out to Michael Temple. He doesn't, he doesn't have, uh, like, a website or anything, but the question is, hey, guys, been listening to your podcast for a while now, and it's great. My question is with the Green Lantern movie coming out in 2020. Do you think DC made it that way because an actor on Marvel's side may be our next Green Lantern, in brackets, Idris Elba? By then, wouldn't his Thor contract be over and he would be our Jon Stewart? Question mark. And by the way, have you heard the news that DC is looking at Chris Pine as the next Hal Jordan? What are your thoughts? What? Um, Wait, Idris Elba is the gate opener dude, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, um, I guess, okay, for, uh, I guess on the Idris Elba part first. Me, he's going to be, all right, he's already fairly old. Right. He's got the authoritative feel, right? Don't get me wrong. He's got that. But there's a lot of black actors out there. <laughs> Yeah, there's definitely a lot more than just every every time any black character yeah, comes why is it up, always like, Idris Elba? And I'm like, they did the same thing for Black Panther. Well, why though? Why is it always him? I get I, he's a great actor. He's got presence with him, but there are a lot out there who are probably very skilled as well. Yeah, and he's already been in two Marvel films now. I think they should just Ghost Rider. Yeah, they should just give him a break. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, either way, he's kind of old and that movie, they're not even talking about doing for another three years. Yeah. 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 So, you know, I think that it would be a, a bit much to make him start a franchise now or three years from now, rather. Mm. But what about this concept? Have Chris Pine show up as Hal Jordan and have Jon Stewart be also in the Green Lantern Corps, but not yes, the Yes, see, that's movie. exactly it. Like, um, they were thinking, like, that people were saying, it's like, why not actually just do a Green Lantern Corps film? Yeah, it'd be way better. Well, you'd have multiple Green Lanterns. You can explain it in the film. You don't have to say, like, as a, you know, as a, as a message at the start of the films, like, blah, blah, like, here's the story of the Green Lantern. None of that. Like, show it. Just show them as an actual core. Yeah, and I, I think that it would be... It'd be better because I mean, some of the Green Lantern core stuff that was in the first Green Lantern movie was some of the cooler parts of yeah, the movie. Absolutely, absolutely. It's just that the CGI on him looks so bizarre that it was distracting. Wait, from on the him rest in particular, or would you say everybody? Because I thought the CG in that film wasn't bad. It's just his I think suit on him looked, in particular. His it suit, was like his head the, was like, floating. Yeah, the CGI body and floating head, and the and really. The CGI fucking face mask was the worst part of it. I don't understand why opinion. they had to CG everything up. Like, for an alien like Kilowog, yeah, cool. He's CG. Absolutely, I right. get that. And he looked great. Um, but his suit, was that necessary? Yeah, I don't I don't think so. And I, and I think it was distracting because mm. they did stuff like try to make his body shaped differently. Mm. And it was just, it was just unnecessary. Ryan Absolutely. Reynolds... At that point, or at least, he was already cut the fuck up. Yes. That dude was built, dude. You, yep. If you saw him in Blade Trinity, that dude didn't need CGI body Nothing. enhancements. Nothing. I don't get, like... He looks incredible. Like, I understand he's construct CG, of course. How else right. would you make him? But the actual mm -hmm. suit, that doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. So, if they did a core version, I'd be totally okay with it. Chris Pine is Hal Jordan. That seems fine to that me. That seems fine to me as well. I've got no, you know, no objections I'm the O. I think that's a, a little strange, but I mean, I guess I'm just not Why? a big fan of Chris Pine. I don't think you he. You like Chris Pine? I don't. I, I'm, and you know, it could be just because I'm not familiar with the characters that he. You know, I don't. I'm not very familiar with the Green Lantern character characters. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that word. Um, but Chris Pine by himself, I'm not too stoked about him in general. So I, I mean, I guess maybe this will be good. Like maybe he well, you know, be good at it. I just, I've never really been stoked about any of the movies that I've seen before. I just hope that if he does it, they don't just make him be Captain Kirk in a <laughs> Green Lantern That's outfit. That's my hopes also. Because I think how Jordan was never that, that character. No. 
and you know i think he could play the 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 militant space cop absolutely he could play that well he, he could play it but you know could. i don't know whether he will whether that's the direction that they're going to go with it though but you know speaking of guys that can play space cops i mean it's not really in space but you'll get it what if they got like carl urban or something like that carl urban as a green lantern would be pretty cool um i would i mean since dread 2 is not going to happen anymore yeah, since they put a nail in that coffin. And he was... But yeah, okay. I, yeah. But I think that could be fine. Hmm? Uh, but, you know, either way, that shit's a ways off. Yeah. So. I mean, like, but the thing is, he will appear in the... In the... I was going to say Avengers. In the Justice League movie, though, wouldn't he? I don't know. Because is that not where they were casting Chris Pine for? For that? I don't even though i don't think he shows up in batman v superman no 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 but like obviously if that's the dawn of justice maybe in justice right. League he will actually rock up yeah you know it definitely could be the case i mean that would make sense that would make sense if you know and i was expecting some sort of payoff for the unite the seven stuff by now yeah it's like okay that's it now we're gonna wait another couple of months for something else <laughs> Right, I thought they would put something out yeah. by now and say this is what we meant, or you know. Maybe it's almost like no, that was literally a tease. Now you have to wait another six months. Right. <laughs> I guess next time they finalize what the outfit is going to look like, we'll see it then. Because there's going to be like again, when does Batman v Superman come out? Next year, sometime. Yeah, next summer. That's way too. I, I don't even care if we don't see a trailer until like end of this year. Oh, I think we're going to see a trailer. At I this know, year's I time. know, we will, but it's like. That means it's like, oh, I can't, like, as exciting as it is, mm -hmm. we still have to wait an entire year for it still. So, like, <laughs> is there much, like, would you want to get super excited and be like, oh, yeah, now I have to hold, try and hold this excitement for a year? No, but at the same time, at the same time, I think they need to show something because this movie has a way longer production cycle than any of the other superhero movies that are coming out. It's, which seems, I guess, because they're doing multiples at the same time, right? Right. And since they had footage at last year's Comic-Con. That's Con, true. I feel, I feel, though, I feel sorry for those dudes. It's like, oh, we saw, the, like, the, the lucky people saw that. Right. But then it's like, that's at least like we're the lucky ones that got to see it. But now we have to wait two years for the actual film. And they saw some pretty, I mean, it was short, but they saw some wild shit because it was from what you have to imagine is the big fight between Superman and Batman because Batman's got fight? the armor on. How about if that wasn't the big fight? It could not be, but, you know, he had the armor on and that's what he fought Superman in. And to me, you say Batman v Superman, I'm thinking Batman's fighting Superman. Yeah, I guess. And if he's going to fight him, he's going to do it in that armor because he's sure as hell is not going to do it just regular old fisticuffs. No, especially with the Superman that we watched. Yeah, not the Superman that goes that cuts through buildings like butter. Yeah. Um, yeah, but, you know, I'm excited to see that movie regardless, man. I think I'm really fucking pumped for Suicide Squad. Yeah. Because Who, who's, like, haven't they, like, juggled the cast around with that now? Uh, well, mainly just, um, Rick Flagg. Mm. Um, it's Rob it's fine, Robocop I'm playing him with now, Joel right? Kinnaman, dude. Yeah, I it's like yeah he's Kinnaman. great. I like him. He's cool. Uh, and the latest rumor is, uh, Joe Magnanglangalano, uh, as, uh, Deathstroke, which I am Wait, way okay with. Was, was Deathstroke supposed to be in that movie? He was rumored. Oh, Okay. And uh, and if Joe Magnanello is going to play him... <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> I am way okay with it, dude, because he basically looks like a more badass version of the dude that plays him in the show. He, which is weird. Like, he looks like if he punches you, you will die. And he, <laughs> was, and he was almost Superman. I know. It would have been so a different I, Superman, wouldn't it? I love the idea of him... If, 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 if he's going to be in the movie, dude... I am still. I don't know where I don't know where I heard this or read this, but they were like, if he went clean shaven, he could play Shazam. <sighs> I just don't know because of the the innocence factor. Mm. Joe, but I remember, like, it's the innocence has to be the the kid. Like, if he yeah, puts, a, I mean, a, like if he has like a cheesy movie. smile, he's big enough to like. I'm sure he could act it. He's definitely got a sense of humor. That's the thing. So I'm like, but I just mean visually, that dude looks like a hawk. 
and I can't imagine I can't imagine him looking like whatever the whatever kid they pick out. Uh, that's the thing. Like who are they? <laughs> a kid version of Joe. Yeah, because I've I've seen him clean shaven. I've seen him younger clean shaven in Spider Man. Yeah, and even back then, couldn't imagine that guy playing Shazam. They still need to but, cast that uh, shit though. They do, and I'm hoping to hear something soon. Soon, right? Because it's like, okay, we get The Rock is Black Adam. How about, <laughs> if they were, how about if they were lying the whole time? It's like, no, The Rock is actually Shazam. I mean, they could have been, but they, they've they said out yeah. in, in, publicly that they gave him they gave him the choice of he could play either one, and he chose Black Adam. Wait, The Rock? Seriously? Yeah. As Shazam? No, he's they playing told Black him he Adam. could, and he's playing Black Adam instead, just, which is the villain from Shazam. I'm, I feel like he could not have done Shazam. I think he totally could have. Absolutely, he's got the charisma and the big, the like, big giant goofy like smile. Him. You can change his appearance, just like him, but just make him not not look like the Rock. No, like make the him. make him look like the fucking Rock instead. That would be so weird to me. I think okay. he could pull it off. I think he could have pulled it off great. Have the Why, kid be like a smaller lightning? version of him. Oh, Knoy's added as racist on the podcast. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I just think I just think that it would be very um, visually um I don't know, just be weird. <laughs> <laughs> Put on the spot here. Yeah? <laughs> I honestly like The Rock has so much charisma He puts on a fucking smile I swear it's like yeah she's yeah, I get that Yeah, No personality wise I'm sure he could do it But I just can't picture The Rock as Shazam Like just physically I just can't I see that well, It's gonna have to picture it anyway cause Black Adam yeah. is Shazam in a black suit well, Yeah. I guess I've never seen Black Adam so. he, looks he looks like Shazam, looks like Shazam with a black suit <laughs> But he's got a black suit and he doesn't have a cape. Yeah, yeah that's it, really. Um, he's got a mustache. But I think he, I think he's perfect visually for Black Adam. But I think he could, he could fully act Shazam. Oh, easily, not like, a problem. If there's any d- giant dude mm-hmm. that can play the 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 sense of humor and joy of a kid, the <laughs> Rock. Yeah, it's could the play. Rock. Yeah, exactly. That's why I was like, oh, he's choosing Black Adam. That's interesting. I mean, I've seen that dude on SNL, and I have no doubt in my mind, <laughs> no doubt in my mind that he could do it. Some yeah. of my favorite episodes of SNL, period, are the ones that The Rock did. He's good. Yeah, so, yeah. I, I'm excited to see what happens with that. I still don't know who the hell they're going to pick. They need to pick somebody soon. Yeah, and uh, quickly, though, while we're sort of talking about the DC stuff, did you see the uh, Jason Momoa fuck Marvel oh. thing? Yeah. Yeah, I, did. <laughs> I think the most like the most annoying I mean, part. It's a joke. I mean, that's the thing. Like, why is everyone taking it so seriously? I don't know. It was just I poking think... a bit of fun. I yeah, I think he was just poking fun. I don't Absolutely. think he obviously no, didn't mean it. Of course not. But it's... I think everyone freaking out about freaking his font. Everyone's like, oh, oh it's such a cool like... font. <laughs> yeah, he wrote it so cool because the F is long and the M is and long. the M is long. Yeah, I was like, I, I, whatever, man. Like, they need something to talk about. They need yeah. something to talk about. And that yeah. that was it. It's stupid. It's only funny to me because poking fun or not, it's uh, like it sounds like a little bit bitter. Yeah. Because he was almost dressed. Yes. Well, mm, it, yeah. It, 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 yeah. It's 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 got that attached to it because it does sound slightly bitter. But I I think right. it was just fun. It was all I in think jest. It totally is too, and there's no reason to get blown out about it. Nobody like should be insulted. Tiny. But I'm I'm sure he wrote it. Like, you're only going to joke like that if you have something behind it anyway. Right. The probably... rest of the people aren't going to just start writing fuck Marvel signs. Superman's not going to do that shit. Right. Yeah. He probably thought in his head real quick, like, it'd be funny if I wrote this. He's like, no, I'm writing it. <laughs> yep, he's like, already started it. Yeah, yeah, it's like... it's hell <laughs> and then, like, once he's finished writing, he's like, oh, great, it's there now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, good on him. I'm glad he's having fun with it. Uh, and and you know what? He got a whole movie out of it instead of an ensemble That's movie right. out of it. So even though it was a massive hit, that ensemble film and his solo film could be garbage. For all we yeah. know, <laughs> it definitely could be. For all I'm we know, I'm really curious, man. I I hope that they don't fucking. I hope that they don't go the lame way and make it Aquaman on land the whole time. No, I want him in the in the water. 
Yeah, I want a movie that takes the, place. They need the to consult James Cameron because he's the expert of water Fucking things. Fully, dude. Fully. <laughs> That's like, it's like if they don't ask him, it's like, can you assist us with this? Then they're you got all those cameras for underwater stuff. Yeah, because he like you. You clearly know that the next Avatar film is going to be water based because he's been yeah. researching this shit for like a decade or something now. Longer. He's yeah. been obsessed with the water. Yeah, actually, for, for fucking years. Yeah. So, if they don't even ask him for any assistance, they're really, really stupid. Yeah. I, I'm hoping they do, and I'm hoping that it takes place at least majority underwater. Because he's got, we've never he's got seen, villains, that's why. He's got, like, underwater villains. We've never villains. seen anything like no, that No, we before. haven't. And since like, a, a Submariner movie is never going to happen. Well, I wouldn't write it off, man. I guess. I, I mean, you write can't write off. anything off at this point. But then it's at like... least I wouldn't write off him showing up in a movie. Uh, would they do the, the, would, would, would they do the wings such... on his ankle? Probably not. <laughs> but it just sucks. He'll wear. He'll have like tattoos on his ankles that yeah. look like wings or something. Nah. <laughs> but uh, I think it just sucks because he has such deep ties to Sue Richards, and I don't know who owns the rights to Submariner. I don't either, so... actually. You know, maybe he'll show up, maybe he won't. They did have uh, an allusion to uh, the original Human Torch in Cap 1. Which I think is great. Yeah, they, you know, they didn't call it that, but they no. had us there. Mm, which so, is great. Which is cool. So, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm excited to see whatever happens with all that stuff. Mm-hmm. But now that uh, we've talked your ear off about superhero <laughs> stuff, TV stuff. A lot longer than I expected, but it's all good. Uh, let's get into the uh, the meat the the debate topic of, the highly of this debatable. week's yeah the the big deal going around right now <clears throat> in the art slash comic book world. What is, was this uh, alternate cover for? What issue? Um, I don't know what number issue that uh, issue I feel that like was. I might be able to find it real quickly. I feel like it was like four. No, that forty-one. Was okay, forty-one. 40, yeah. It was for well, like a June release, right? This article, this thing I'm clicking on, it says 41. Was it the Batgirl attack on Burnside Bridge or something like that? It just says Batgirl number 41, Joker variant. There's no other info? No. Okay, well, uh, so Batgirl number 41 has a variant cover that has been getting a lot of attention lately that depicts Joker holding his finger up Writing a red smile across Batgirl's mouth. Doing finger guns. Doing a finger gun, I guess. And holding an actual gun. And she looks terrified. Now, the, the debate that people are having, or the problem that people are having... Is... And we'll include this picture yes. in the description of yes. the podcast for people well, I guess to he's not out. necessarily doing finger guns at her face. But anyways, um, so the debate on this... Is the, so the the cover came out and the artist who was who was I don't know who the artist was Raphael Albuquerque is the cover artist. Raphael Albuquerque, man, that's a tight name. <laughs> yeah. He's a great artist as well. Uh, Joe the Barbarian comic. Oh, okay, okay. And the um, American Vampire. Mm-hmm. Not, oh, okay. I think I knew about that one yeah. at least. Um. So, anyways, he. Uh, put out this variant cover, and it's been causing a lot of controversy, and so he pulled it. He decided not to go He requested it. that it would be pulled. Yeah. And then, so so there's the controversy that surrounds the fact of the actual content that he had in, in the cover, and then now controversy over him pulling it, or requesting for it. It started a hashtag change the cover. Oh, did a, it really? I yeah, mean, and a know. hashtag don't change the cover thing on like Twitter and on social media and Facebook and whatnot. Right. So right now in this podcast there are two different opinions. I guess there are varying opinions on the subject. Right. So um I mean it's imp- Some people are insinuating that the cover implies like rapey vibes. Well, how about you just talk about what you think about the cover and how you feel about the cover? That's going to be the longest thing. Well, so. no. So you, I mean, I just, I'm, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible because it's going to be.
to be a long debate. But so pretty much, uh, like, for instance, the the argument that Royce and I have been having is that Royce brought up to me, he says, Has you seen this, have you seen this cover? And I said yes. And he says, you know, what do you think about it kind of thing. And we were talking about what I thought about it. And he told me that it was pulled, and I was... I was shocked that it was pulled. I was shocked they wanted to pull it down. But not surprised. But not surprised. And that is where the the kind of the, uh, the sides switch. Because Royce doesn't think that it should have been pulled, which, and it doesn't think that it's as controversial as I do, um, I think is, is what's happening. Um, you know, me, I think that, and don't get me wrong, I think that the cover is an amazing cover. I think the artist is great. I think that the cover looks great. I don't want him to pull it. I don't think he should pull it. I think he should keep going with it. I think I think that's fine. But in the same even saying that, I completely understand where other people are coming from being so upset at what what kind of imagery he's presenting. Um because I think that the 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 cover is controversial because and I feel like within the past six months or whatever, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, about uh, not, I mean, women's rights and whatnot, but not, not that that specifically this cover has to do with that, but just kind of, you know, there's all this stuff about street harassment with chicks and like girls not getting, you know, being mistreated or like, you know, like not treated like a human being, I guess. Mm -hmm. And so you see a cover like this, that's kind of riding on this movement or happening during the same movement mm -hmm. where you see a guy and this is this is the way I interpret it and why I think why I can relate to the people who don't like it is because if you just look it is just a guy who is threatening harm or had already harmed this young girl in the photo and it's almost like a and it's almost like he's playfully He's, he thinks that, that he thinks it's funny. And so if you just take that, you, it's an older guy who is playfully hurting this little girl. That alone, without context of who it is or what's happening, that alone by itself is bad. And I think that is why I can relate to people getting so upset about it. But, but Royce has the other end where he doesn't think that it's that bad. And I think that the reason why is because Royce has so much. He, he understands the context behind all of it. He understands the character behind it. He understands how extreme Joker is and how how significant Joker and Bad Girl's relationship is. He understands the significance of what Joker's wearing in the photo. He understands... He, you understand the backstory of it, mm -hmm. where I don't, which is, I think, what where this is happening, what, what is causing this issue, is that people are getting pissed off because they don't understand what's happening. And they don't understand what it what they don't understand what it means they just see what looks like violence whereas you know you see you see the the significance of him wearing that specific outfit mm -hmm. and seeing that girl when she's young and and you know like the story behind that and so and so when you told me that and you explained that whole thing to me i you know that made sense to me it was like oh okay that's like that's really neat like that's a cool way to kind of get this idea across Right, which he's got a very specific hat on. He's got a very specific gun in hand. It's a reference to the killing joke when he shot her in the back and put her in a wheelchair for a decade. Right. For 25 years. 25, sure. yeah, something like that. Because this is supposed to like mark the 25th anniversary or some shit. So, to me, the people that are attacking the image without context, you can you can do that with... Anything. Tons of images without context and be Anything. like, this is awful mm -hmm. without context. And to me, that's not that shouldn't be enough to change it. And it's right. And it's a weak move to change it. And I don't like that there are so there's so much attention given to these people that are quick to quick to complain about anything they're quick to well, be offended thought, by anything and i stuff. thought you said that the reason why he pulled it wasn't necessarily because of the actual image but the but the reaction that people were giving to the people who were upset about it yeah. right, right right the people who said that they didn't like it were being verbally assaulted right. on whatever these and to me were. that's a completely different thing like right. to me like that is that's kind of noble of him to be like i understand that people could potentially be attacked online because it could be bullied for just having an opinion. That would make it worse is if they pull the cover 
now all those same trolls are going to be like, oh, you made them pull the cover just because you're fucking blah 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 Now I'm going to call you all kinds of names. Well, and no, yada, yada. I, I mean, I, I don't... I think it's a catch-22. I think if he would have kept this this thing out he would have to just deal with it over and over and over again and it could potentially it could potentially hurt his reputation because he because his reputation it could hurt the artist how no one was actually attacking the artist though no i know no one is attacking the artist but the fact that he put out something that was so extremely controversial and 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 just kind of let it go i think is i think could potentially not saying that it's gonna but i'm just saying that it could have caused some kind of harm to himself and his his work, you right. know, he'll be known as the dude who put out the cover that, like, you know, people freaked out about it. Had... I would love to be able to make any art that makes people talk that much. Mm. Yeah, but you want art that'll make people. I mean, I feel like the point. I mean, the point of the point of art is to make people talk about it. I think that's to look at it and thing. talk about it. Really. Yeah, to to see it, to notice it, to have an opinion on it. I think mm. that's that's what that's what it is and that's why people create things is to make somebody feel something i definitely agree with that but i think if you have people who are feeling something and then being attacked for just feeling a certain way you know i wouldn't want my like if i did something that was that was potentially hurting people that's not what i meant to do that's not what anybody would mean to do so i but i but at the same time i don't think he should have pulled it i think that I think th- I st- I stand behind the fact that I think it's an excellent piece of art. Regardless, he is a great artist. He's a- it's an amazing piece. I like even though it's even though it's like violent or whatever. I would totally I would totally own that. <laughs> like I would put that print up somewhere, um, just because the piece by itself is very impressive and the, pe- uh, the piece as a piece of art is great. Um, and I and I can overlook that and I can see past the fact that you know. Yeah, you know, that's a part of the story. I think the fact that people don't understand what's happening is why is just why people are so upset. And once you told me the significance of it or whatever, I was like, oh, that's actually really cool. Like, oh, that's actually really neat that they're that's how they're bringing this all together. And that's how he kind of like. Now, there's been recently someone's posted like a variation of the cover. Right. Where they have changed her expression to look more angry than scared. Um, and they say that that is more fitting with her character in the new comics, which I respectfully disagree <laughs> with mm. because it doesn't, to me, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what her character is now. She would be terrified of the Joker. Regardless. In position because the Joker is Batman's main villain. No one can handle the Joker but Batman. That's what makes him the arch nemesis he's killed a robin before Mm -hmm. he's shot her in the back and paralyzed her before why would she be anything but terrified if he's got her in a chokehold with a gun to her not even in a chokehold he's just got his arm around her shoulder he's got her in that position and she can't do anything about it it's like she's frozen why would she look anything but terrified what would be the point of being like grr grr Mm -hmm. he's got a gun there and he's the joker he hasn't he has little to no sanity at all. Right. He would just murder her or beat the shit out of her with a crowbar. Like Which is worse. Yeah. Suicide kick. You know, I just... I don't understand why she should look anything but terrified. To me, he nailed that expression. He did. And that's to me, was... like, that's the, that's the biggest milestone of what that guy did with that cover is he nailed that mm-hmm. expression without making that expression extreme. Yeah. All it is is a furrowed eyebrow, widened eyes, and her mouth is slightly pursed. It's like it's not even like she's not screaming in no. terror. And if you look well, at it, she doesn't even look like she's been beaten up. Crying. She's yeah. got a teardrop coming out. She doesn't out. even look like she's beat. she's been beaten. Yeah, right. she doesn't she's just in- He just basically smeared the mark on her face, and already with that, she knows that She's yeah. fucked. Like, I'm. This is the most terrifying thing that could happen to me right now. Basically, the problem, the problem with the cover is that he's just too good. <laughs> yeah, and it it just seems like they're they're like she should she should be defiant. She's a hero, yada yada. But she's still, she's still a young person who is powerless and in is in is facing someone who has been giving the main the main dude the guy who can take down the rest of the Justice League Batman. He's been around fucking with Batman for forever. Yeah. 
There's been a bunch of other stuff online, like on Twitter primarily. People were saying it doesn't really match the tone of the book. But the thing is, it's also, this is an alternate cover. This is not the yeah, main thing that variant. you need to get. Right. It's a it's variant. It's a variant that is just a yeah. tribute. Because it was 25, it's, it's upcoming 25 years. So that's why right. I was like, okay, I'll just do that. And I know people were like, um, the current Batgirl team didn't approve the cover. It's like, okay, current Batgirl team, you don't really approve the thing. D you work for DC. DC approved this. I know it sucks to hear shit like that, but right. as much as say as much as you as much as it is your book it's also dc's book it is an alternate cover as well though. that's really the thing like if you don't like the cover don't even buy the cover uh, i know it I know, it upset a lot of people because you know um i know for the most part anyways what it seemed like um the the arguments were based off of people taking it out of context like they didn't like they saw the cover and they're like oh it's violence against women that's it um, they're not, you know, they're not bringing the, the fact that it's Joker. They're not bringing the fact that, you know, okay, they see a girl and a guy and the guy is basically overpowering the girl against mm -hmm. her will. And they were saying that wouldn't like, you wouldn't let this fly if it was, um, if, if the Joker was doing this to a male character and stuff like that. And it's like, then they, sh people showed examples, like he's done this several times already with like Batman and all that type of stuff. But that's beside the point. The point was like, and I said that, I said that same thing to Knoy, except for not that they wouldn't let it fly. But that it wouldn't have been an issue at all. No, if that, no issue. If that I same cover was no put issue. out and it was Robin, even Damien, the youngest they, they, Robin. The, the kid, like he's what? Nobody would have given no. a shit. No. I think people are just, at this point, and I feel like it's it's been talked about a lot, is that people are just tired of seeing wi female characters being in distress and be needed to be saved somehow mm. or be being in peril or something you know i think people are just so upset and so fed up with seeing that kind of stuff i know, and I know that people it, also say it's like oh it's she's the hero of the book why is she like this right. against joker i'm like it's the joker yeah it's the fucking joker just, like, just yeah, look at I the characters that. though it's the character as well like okay back girl she's like she's badass these days but that's mm -hmm. still the joker right. there is still the history that she again yeah like joker is batman's primary rival Right. He fears the Joker to an extent as well, do you know? Like, he can barely handle the Joker. So, I don't know. I don't... Like, I like the cover. It's a shame that it's pulled. I understand the points of views, but again, there's a lot of context. And I know people like, yeah, but remove the context. It's like, but you can't because it's part right. of this. You can't remove the yeah. context because it's all about context for the most part. Like, if you were, say, purely based on the image itself, a lot of those people can't say that it's a bad, it's a bad image. Right. If they do, then I don't know what they're even looking at. That do they see past the the image and just straight to the message? You wouldn't have gotten the message without the image. So and it was a fucking masterful image. That too. image is like a post. Like I wouldn't have it as a poster because it's just I I I'm not a big fan of either of those. Like massive fan of either of those characters. But as an image, I'm like that's a fucking dope image. Yeah. yeah. Dope. Yeah, I think that I think I think even if you if you kind of pull yourself out of it and you're like you're like what was he thinking it's like no i know exactly what he's thinking i know exactly, he exactly it would be so cool if he was like what if i get the joker and he's got batgirl because of the whole history behind them wearing the same shit that's that he's ex wearing exactly it that is exactly whole, it yeah like the whole idea behind it is great like it mm. is an excellent like that is such a cool idea like yeah, that. I, exactly that, like uh, he's probably like how come no one's done this before like i but understand it, okay. why like it's perfect timing at this point He's like, oh, this is going to be a great image, you know. Hopefully people right. like it. Clearly, I'm sure when he was drawing this, when he was making it, he did not expect this kind yeah. of talk regarding it. I mean, but when you drew, when he did that, he, you know, it's a cover for Batgirl. You're drawing it for fans of this series. You're not drawing That's it for fans of other things. People who are fans of Batgirl. But if you're drawing fans... it for fans of Batgirl, they're going to understand exactly. it. Exactly. It's not the same as, uh, like, I think a lot of the fans of Batgirl right now that are upset about it are just you know... They, yeah, yeah. they just know i really like the new trendy yeah. young she's cute. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's all it's right. all bubbly it's all cute it's bright colors and stuff like that and it's a great looking book uh the story is definitely different and stuff but you have yeah like you can't forget about its entire past this had to you know, happen and, this was a big and, major thing that happened right and i think that's kind of where this the whole this whole mess happens is that people just don't understand the significance of this or they don't understand what uh they don't understand kind of the backstory of it and i think if they did 
like just like me like i initially was like i understand why people are so upset about this thing it looks it looks really crazy and like it looks bad and not that the art is bad but the imagery he was creating um i you know it's like oh this girl is in trouble what is he gonna do to her he's being super creepy and sh is she gonna get hurt kind of thing it's like being concerned for her but then you like take it back and you're like no like this is this is what this means and this is this is why it's like this, and this is why I drew it this like this. You're like, oh, well, in that case, it's freaking awesome. <laughs> like, oh, I get it. Like, okay. But just again, man, if they, if it had been any other character, but Batgirl, if it had been any of the Robins, even 10-year-old Damian Wayne, I really don't think anybody would have given a single shit about it. I think they would have given, like, a little bit of a I shit. I really don't think so. I do. Because Not it's still, way. especially if it's a young kid. If it was Robin, they would have been like, oh, this cover is so sick. He killed Robin once. Well, you know, I don't think that'll be, I don't, I do not think that would be 100% of the response. I think There's people, always going to be somebody that's going to be upset about it. But, right. I think some but that's people the thing. give a shit. Like, regard, I like, think less people, I think less people would give a shit about it. I think I people, think especially that. because, you know, because we live in an age of Twitter and all that stuff, like the whole instant feedback. We yeah. wouldn't have, like, if this was a cover that was released a decade ago, even a decade ago, you probably mm -hmm. wouldn't have received the actual... It just would have fucking came out. Yeah. yeah. Would have came it out. just would have came out, and we would have been like, oh, cool. And you would have not bought it, or you could have bought it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you but would have picked it up based on a cover, and you looked inside, and it's like, well, it's entirely different. It's not what I expected. Yeah, I mean, you saw the reaction to just Manara drawing a sexy Spider-Woman cover. Oh, oh yeah, see? That one. And... And that was just a fucking Spider Woman cover of, in a pose that we've seen a thousand kabillion times in different characters and different With Spider Man. Characters. Spider Man's yeah. always doing crotch shots. Yeah. People were complaining but, about that. It's like, you wouldn't sexualize males like that. It's like, look at all the Spider Man covers. But you can see her back dimples, man. It's different. It is. It is. You're not supposed to see back dimples. Yeah, so I don't know, man. I just, I think that we are in a, in a current state with media where people complain and even if they're not even really legitimately upset this is not speaking for everybody but i think some people are bandwagon jumpers and they go oh man it seems like i'm supposed to be upset about this because some other people are it's like and I, I agree with them so i think so to i need to jump people, onto this i think those people should just kind of like educate themselves more and kind of like be like because because i guess and i guess that's just because that's how I would have done it. Is I probably if I if you wouldn't have shown me this photo mm -hmm. first, I probably would have read an article about it. I probably would have seen comments on it. If somebody would have said anything along the lines of what you told me about how they have a story, I would have looked into the story right. and then I would have been like, oh, that's really crazy. But these people are blindly making these assumptions or making these critiques on something that they don't know the story of, and that's the and problem. I guarantee you. What? I guarantee you, half the motherfuckers at very least half, don't even read comics. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> like... They don't read this specific Batgirl yeah. book. They don't read they the Batgirl. They probably just saw the image, right, read right. a bunch of the other things that people wrote, and they're like, yeah, I think that exactly. Here's my two yeah. cents on something that would never affect my life at all. Ever. Should. I don't read comics. You know, it'd be like that, but... I think Shows we need more people like what you would do, Kano. It's like, hey, there's a talk about this cover. I want to look into it because it's, right. you know, I, I'm I curious. I want to know now. why yeah. people are so upset about this. I want to yeah. know why what they're this upset. Is. And when we were when we were first talking about it, I showed I had shown Jeff like the She Hulk I was working on. Mm, yeah. And he was like, "Well, you know, aren't you worried about yeah. people talking mm. shit about it because of like the Menara thing and the you got it, you're making her too sexy, yada yada." And I'm like, man. Especially because of what's going on with the yeah, background. it's like fuck it, like it's yeah, we can't just start changing. That's exactly because that means that that wouldn't that mean that we are censoring ourselves? Yeah, before it's even an issue. Yeah, like that's that's I, just I think, so so opposite of what doing artwork is about to me. Mm -hmm. I think, and I get that, and I, I get, I do definitely get that, but I think there does have to be, and not saying that you shouldn't draw any of the things that you're drawing, but obviously you can't draw absolutely everything you want in the sense of like the most obscene and or ridiculous thing. But see, to me, that's not what I want. Yeah, that's that's not what I want. Yeah, exactly. The like, version of what I want as far as She-Hulk being sexy, she's kind of got her shirt off and she is, you know, she's getting undressed for work and she is relaxing 
or whatever. To me, that's super hot. But I don't necessarily have to have her actual full fucking tits out yeah. or like her spreading her labias and, and crabias <laughs> all over the fucking <laughs> comic thing. I don't need to do all that, no, but there dev if you if you search hard enough, you can find that shit super easy if that's your deal. Mm. It's just it's not mine. Mm-hmm. And I feel like if I wanna draw She Hulk with her fucking bra showing then I'm gonna do it. Yeah, and, dude, like she could be like sitting on a couch drinking coffee. That's right. it. That's, I'm not. That's it I'm right not there. eating kitty porn or anything nah, illegal. Yeah. So to me, to me, I'm you know, there's nothing I should have to think about censoring myself with as far as that goes. But I mean, you know, if I'm drawing something right. super violent, then I'll put a mature tag on right, it. Yeah. But that's as far as I will go because I'm not gonna draw anything that makes me uncomfortable to draw. Right. Yeah, That's why I, I don't offer nude commissions. Right. Mm-hmm. I just don't. I don't. If if I don't want to draw it, I'm not going to draw it. And I think that if if that cover made Raphael uncomfortable, he wouldn't have done it. And he I did think... a piece that he thought was striking. He was like, I'm he was right. you, you know her. what? He was right. I'm going to show fear. I'm going to show fear in her face because that is not something that everyone can do. Mm-hmm. No. I'm going to show her being afraid, and I'm going to show how scary the Joker is. And to me, fucking nailed it, man. Yeah. If yeah. somehow this guy fucking hears this podcast, <laughs> you nailed it, dude. Yeah. You killed yeah. it. You killed it. Like, if I could achieve that, that kind of, just the vibe that he's achieved with that sort of single piece, that's excellent. I don't even know. Just, like, Because really, I mean, you, like, he he nailed it so well that even in that alternate version that somebody created where they just changed her eyes to make her look... Right. more defiant or whatever mm. it really does change the image it doesn't make it i don't think it makes it better i'm I not think it makes it worse right i think it i think it's because it doesn't like, make any sense now <laughs> i think yeah. it, i think it does not work with the piece at all but it's just to show how much like how much emotion he was able to capture in that yes very subtly sad right? thing that he created was so impressive there's not a lot of lines in that face but so that. much is expressed so right. much is expressed, right. and that's and scary. If you, that's if you scary. Do good. That with two bust images <laughs> yeah. in the dark, man, you are a fucking beast. And even, yeah, that's but, scary. Even, good. Even with Batgirl, I think he did. I think he did Joker really well too. Oh, and you Joker couldn't looks even amazing. See much yeah. of him, but he was so creepy, dude. <laughs> He's got the the smile is there. It's slightly yeah. crooked. And it's not He's even seen. like a grotesque Joker. No. 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 Yeah. But it's just. Like to me, his posture make that the Joker in the fucking new movie, and I'm sold, man. Yeah, I'm sold. I think so, what helps with that is that you can't see his eyes. I think it's because you can't see his eyes, and that really helps. Yeah, yeah. it's just that grin. Mm-hmm. It's just yeah. that grin, and like his his eyes are not showing, and her eyes are the most important part of it. Yeah, right, that's where it, and it, it makes you focus on her expression. Yeah, I really don't like the other... Yeah, the version, version where she's grimacing or whatever, it's just, it looks to me like she's annoyed by a bully. Like, she's like, this guy's a jerk. And and the other one, it's like, no, really, this guy could kill me. Yeah, like, you can feel it. <laughs> it's like, I, I know fear, and clearly, that's fear. You know like, what I'm saying? Like, to me, everybody's like, you, it's her looking into camera, and it's like, Oh, it makes you want to protect her, and that's their like. Oh, you look at how helpless she is. To me, this is like Joker making a video on a webcam and sending it directly to Batman, and be like, "Look what I got! Mm-hmm. Remember what happened before? Gonna do it again." I'm but I think, I, like, I that you keep that's, making hang out with you. That's one of the reasons why people didn't like it, because it's like, because Batgirl is the hero of her title, Batgirl. Why would she need somebody else to save her? To, but just because she's in that particular situation there doesn't mean she can't save herself. That's what that's They're exactly it. Yeah. One exactly. still image mm-hmm. of a story I was just thinking of that. that that people aren't even mm-hmm. fucking reading because the book's not even out. Exactly. And they're like automatically she needs to be saved by someone else. It's like who's to say she that still she save herself yeah. there? Yeah, if you knew, like, if you knew the character and people are so upset that it's this girl and she's supposed to be like she's not like a. She's not helpless or whatever. She can hold her own. It's like, okay, well, then you know that if you saw this, right. that's not it. Yeah, situation is bad now, yeah. but how is she going to get herself yeah. out of it? Yeah. That's what you should be looking to. 
But they're not seeing that. They see they're basing it solely on this one image. Right. And 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 j- jumping to the worst possible conclusion. Like to me I just it's so disappointing to me that people automatically went this is rapey. Yeah. Right. Well, like I why is it always said that straight away? I don't get it. I don't everyone wants to like even in a in a cover like this where it's not she's not bruised or she doesn't have a big black eye he didn't beat the fuck out of her right before this happened they jumped to the worst possible scenario where it's got to be something sexual and that's just it's lame and lazy to me it's also out of it's also seems out of character for joker he never that's not even his joker, thing to me man other than harley he might as well be asexual yeah he's that's never, exactly he's never real in any of in any like media, that, any form of media, to Batman. Yeah, but that's like, almost to get him. That's to get him to react, but, really. But you know, to me, if there's any, those are the only two people I could imagine him ever being sexually interested in <laughs> is Harley Quinn and maybe yeah, Batman. I don't think I definitely don't get a rapey vibe from this. I just get a creepy vibe, which isn't the same thing. He successfully makes a creepy character. He looks like a fucking serial killer. Yeah. That's what he is. He's a serial killer that it looks like a clown. And that is terrifying. You can see the joy he's getting out of this. Oh yeah, absolutely. But not in a like a sexual way at all. But just in like a. It's a let's put a smile on that face. It's a why so serious fucking poster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, why scared? Yeah, laugh a little. It's one of them. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I just am. I'm so upset by, by the medium letting people affect it in that way that it just was disheartening. This is why it just, you know, for anybody listening now that we've been talking about it for a minute, I didn't want to talk about this on the show. We weren't going to do it. And, and like Jeff had brought it up and we talked about it a little bit and I was like, I just don't, I just don't even want to bother. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, it's cool. We don't have to then. We don't have to. And we weren't gonna. And until I talked to Kanoi and she felt so strongly in the other direction then I was like, okay, we should talk about it. Yeah. And by other direction, it's not that I agree that I think it's rapey or anything right, like that. Right, but that she, but could, I see, she could see yeah. their point of view yeah. on why they would be upset yeah. by it. Yeah. And that was enough to me to start the conversation, enough to where we've talked about it a couple times, we might as well just record it, right? <laughs> um, so, yeah, any any final thoughts on it? Because we have been talking about it for like 20-something minutes. Um, I'm, I am really sad that he pulled it. I... As much like like I I respect him I guess for making the decision in uh, because only in, the, in the, only in the thought my thought process that he's making this decision to look out for these other people mm-hmm. yeah. and in that I think that that was a very mature thing to do but as an artist I'm and and because of the such a the great artist that he is I'm upset that he had to do it I would have loved to see that seen that on a cover Fucking like an I want it as a print man right. I hope and he puts it out I would get it That's like at a thing. convention I'm... if he just makes this a print yeah. sick man I'll that's buy it on principle yeah. alone yeah I think it, it's, it's yeah and we and said it a million it, times it's a, a fucking piece. master class piece of artwork yeah. I'll yeah. put it up pride on like look what you can accomplish with two busts. I know they're like not even waist up they're just like rib cage yeah. up that's it Lim- yeah, limited color shadow limited it's, color it's so little time like he it's so little actual drawing time to that i'm it's, and this it's guy's annoyingly a piece. good ever i'm sure that yeah. didn't even take him very long no. it's but it's masterfully done it's annoyingly good <laughs> yeah. yeah but yeah hello Kuro. Um, but yeah, so I think that that pretty much covers it, unless anybody's got any final words. No. Questions, concerns? No? Good. <laughs> that was, uh, yeah. Um, I like the yeah, cover. It's a great image. Probably should uh, wrap up episode. Like oh, wait, wait, wait. He's, he, he's the artist recommendation. Go check out his work. Yeah, check out his work. We'll he's put a link GA. up because, yeah. Yeah, we'll put a look link. Look at his other stuff. It's on Instagram, I mm-hmm. think. He's he's crazy good. Check out his books. Joe the Barbarian. American Did he Vampire. do Joe the Barbarian? I'm pretty sure. Pretty positive. That was him. I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it was him on that and uh, him on American Vampire, which was really crazy. Does, he do, does he do the art in American Vampire? Or just yeah. the cover? Okay, I didn't know if it was. Santa, Santa Loco also did a quick... Yeah, he, he, he's a he's an American vampire dude. That's his. Yeah. 
and uh, I think he did uh, Jesus, the rock star or something, like punk rock Jesus or something. No, nah, that's a different dude. That's Sean Gordon Murphy, man. Oh, never mind. Maybe that's who I was thinking of. That's for, the uh, Dread the Barbarian, yep. I get them mixed up, those two. Because they're both they're, fucking they're amazing, both yeah. They're hella good. <laughs> look look <laughs> at both of those guys, because they're yeah, annoyingly good. Like, Check annoyingly out. good. I'll have is links up, don't worry. Too? Sorry? Is he, is he on DA too? Yeah, yeah, he's been on DA for a long time. Well, then, yeah, check both of them out. Yeah. I'll have links up, don't worry. Um, But, yeah, so I, now that it is 1120, Kanoi needs to go, go to bed. bed. <laughs> so we <laughs> wrap up episode five. Episode five, thanks for joining us. Email us if you've got... You want us to talk yeah, about anything? Yeah, topics. We'll definitely talk about them. Yeah. And uh, stay tuned for chats.